Can the warden survive maximum fall damage? Well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> there he goes. Oh my God, he's so good. Wait, that's insane. The he can. These guys are literally unkillable. We all know that if you sneak next to a shulk sensor, you don't get spotted. But what about if you're invisible? Okay, here we go. And popping it. Oh, what? They can still see you when you're invisible. Dude, that's so OP, man. Does wool trigger the shulk sensors? What? So any other block they sense, but for some reason, they're not capable of sensing wool? In the new version of Minecraft, you can spawn four new secret paintings. This one is called Water, and my personal favorite, Fire. Yeah, come on. And then there's gotta be Earth, and finally, Wind. And with that, we've become the Avatar. You can now trap fish in leaves. There's no way. Oh, he kind of, wait, he kind of escaped. Hold on, hold on, let's try this again. Oh, he's stuck. They're never gonna find Nemo. Unlays are invincible if you give them an item. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right. I, what? This one doesn't have an item, and I can definitely kill him. But this one holding the cornflower is invincible. Okay, this is a wild myth, but it, apparently frogs can eat magma cubes. Let's see. Get over here! No. Get over no here! No way! Wait! What is this? All right, this is incredible. Witches can survive two warden shots at the same time. Now we punch the witch and it and it works. Oh, wow. What? So look what she's doing. She's, she's drinking a healing potion every time she gets hit by the freaking wardens. <laughs> All right, but I'm pretty sure if we break this glass, she's gonna die. Yep. <laughs> If you create a new world in 119, in the seed write, I want ancient city. I know, great grammar. And then create a new world, ancient city is supposed to spawn directly beneath you. We're gonna open this bad boy to land. Huh, <laughs> not mining down there. Wait, it does! I mean, I know you can barely see because it's freaking pitch black. That is crazy that works. Look at this! That's freaking amazing! <laughs> I thought it was fake. Shulk sensors will summon a warden, right? Uh, I think they just summoned the warden. But if you cover them in water, it doesn't work. Look at this. So warden spawned over here where I didn't cover them in water. And then over here, things are covered in water. And it, it's not spawning a warden. This is so cool. Is the warden actually the strongest mob in Minecraft? The Wither might have something to say to that. Wither versus warden. Come on, warden. He's going in melee. Oh my God, the warden. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are Endermen invincible to arrows? What? All right, this time we've got three Endermen. Come on. It bounces off of all three of them. Villagers can sleep in the nether. I have trapped a villager in beds to test this myth. It works? So what happens if I try to sleep in a bed? Oh, sorry. You can spawn secret jungle villagers. They're supposed to look like Tarzan. Hello I've there. never seen this villager in my entire life. Iron golems can't drown. They are made of iron, which makes sense. And now we wait. Two hours later. He's looking at me like, why did you put me in this hole? You can spawn giant slimes. Oh my god. He just jumped across the entire river in one hop. This could be the next villain in a Marvel movie. All right, so we tested it with the slimes. What happens when you spawn a magma slime? He just jumped in outer space. If you don't follow them in spectator mode when they jump, they're so big, they get deleted from Minecraft. You can make armored villagers, which can survive a zombie attack. So this is a villager with full netherite. This is a villager without netherite. He can survive two critical hits. This one can survive three, four, five, six, six. What? Since when can you put armor on villagers? Snowballs can kill a blaze faster than a netherite axe. I don't think that's true. All right, I'm gonna just show you right now. We have one blaze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With a netherite axe, that's busted. We just axed that myth. Zombie pigmen will crush turtle legs. There's no way. This is a cute, adorable pig. You are an awful creature. You can save an axolotl with a lava bucket. I just want to apologize to all the Axolotl fans. Giving a fish a water breathing potion allows them to breathe on land. Oh, the effects are actually on the fish. <gasps> oh, that was busted. You can turn the warden invisible with a potion of invisibility. Oh, dude. As if they needed to be any more terrifying. Horses can ride in boats. I don't know how to do this. Quit horsing around. Get in the boat. You're going to drown. What about a baby horse? You know, they say teach them while they're young. <gasps> What? No, no, no. 
but this is not busted. This actually works. You just have to use a baby and a lead. I'm gonna name him Sea Biscuit. It only seems fitting. <laughs> you can shear a villager with Silk Touch. I don't know. What is there to shear? Uh, there would never be a way to shear a villager. You can turn skeletons into strays by using snow. All right, get some of this. I put some powdered snow on him. Oh, Please shake help it. me. It's like a Pokemon transformation. <gasps> oh, that's sick. That myth did not stray away from being amazing. Our Minecraft world's actually infinite. We're just gonna try to TP really far away. The Minecraft world is actually not infinite. I can only type in TP 3 million, 203 million. So it's not infinite. You can't turn the wither invisible. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do this. Let's see. So you can make the warden invisible, but you can't make the wither invisible. Zombies won't burn if they're in cobweb. I don't believe this one. I just, I think it's fake. <gasps> I can't believe this. Lightning can turn a villager into a witch. I don't think this is possible. Ah, what? Free. You can kill an iron golem with just your fist. Why don't we come back to this one? It's gonna take a while. If your axolotl gets struck by lightning, it turns it into a rare axolotl. Well, that's definitely busted. A turtle will drop a bowl for turtle soup if it's killed by lightning. I don't see why that would happen. Dude, if you spawn enough rabbits, you get a killer rabbit that will attack you. These guys aren't killers, they're little bunnies. Ah, uh, these rabbits look normal to me and they're very cute. I don't see the issue. And just to prove it, I'm gonna go in survival. Oh, what? Where did that one come from? What are you doing? Why is he got a name tag? <laughs> All jokes aside, the only way to get the killer bunny to spawn is by typing this command. But somebody did say it was a myth that if you spawned enough rabbits, eventually you would get a killer rabbit. And that's just not true. So this is busted. You can! You can clutch fall damage with a bed. Now, I've never tried this. And now you know why. Somebody said it only works with the red bed. I will disprove this twice. What did I say? Frostwalker stops magma damage. That makes absolutely no sense. This is why myths need to be tested because too many of them are true. Do you understand? This is good soup. All right, we've tested a lot of stupid myths so far, but this is the dumbest one. It's saying you can break an end portal with mushrooms. There's no way. This mushroom is eating a lot of my bone meal. It's not growing, but oh, oh, that's so weird. The mushrooms just grow around it. That's fantastic. Can you survive void damage with notch apples? Hold on. I mean, if you had infinite notch apples, you could survive this. While we test this myth, I guess this is a great time to tell you about FireMerch.com, the sponsor of this video. We got hoodies, hats, t-shirts, plushies, and more. You don't want to buy this guy? Are you kidding me? Confirm. You can clutch with a lava bucket. I know for a fact it doesn't work. Diamond armor stands are harder to break than non-diamond armor stands. One, two, three, four, five. Negative. If you put sand on top of TNT, it can break water protected blocks. Now, if you've ever played factions on cosmicpvp.com, you know all about raiding. So we already know the answer to this myth, but for everybody else, just witness. This is how you raid bases in Minecraft factions, and it's amazing. The next time your friend puts water down and thinks he's safe from your TNT shenanigans, thank again. In a Minecraft boat, you never lose hunger. Still haven't lost hunger yet. I feel like Johnny Depp in the Pirates of the Caribbean. I've gone almost a thousand blocks and haven't lost even the tiniest sliver of hunger. Confirmed. Shields do not block potion damage. Give it your best shot. You threw it over me. Can you stop throwing it that way? Throw it on there. Yep. When you're invisible, mobs can't see you. We've got a zombie on our trail who is still following me. Yeah, look at these creepers. They don't see us. Look at this. I mean, I'm beating up the zombie right next to these creepers and they have no idea. Look at you, you little stupid jalapeno. Whoa! Apparently, if you're two blocks next to them, they can see you. That would have been nice to know. In this Minecraft snapshot version, they're saying there's infinite dimensions. And the only way to test the myth is to throw the books from this infinite bookshelf into another portal. No chance. Maybe there is a chance? What? What is this dimension? Hold on, hold on. Are there more dimensions? Oh, that's a different color. It's very scary looking. This looks like something straight out of Star Wars. Why am I just now finding out about these? Okay, this one is yellow? Oh, dude, this place is, ah, this place is creeping me out. Whoa. Whoa, look at how blue it is over there when the, when the render is, is that a, what is, oh my gosh, dude, this would make like a great PVP map. It's a naked mine shaft. If you place a bed under an end portal, you will spawn there. Ah, uh, we'll see about that. Weird, you like don't spawn at the bed. If you smelt a wet sponge with lava, it fills the bucket with water. I don't think it, that that is n no way. I don't understand. 
And then every myth I don't think works, works. And then every myth I think is going to work, doesn't end up working. Using a shulker box, you can make a secret entrance to your base for everybody who wants to hide their diamonds from their friends or me, <laughs> my wife who dies with them in lava. This would be really useful if it actually works. Like, I feel like I'm a kid sliding down a fireman pole. That's amazing. Using a redstone clock and honeycomb blocks makes an impossible trap that you can't even mine out of with a netherite pickaxe. And we go, what? That, that's blowing my mind. So by the time you get close enough to breaking the block, it pushes you. If you want to mess with your friends, build one of these. You can put a shulker box in a shulker box. That's preposterous. You see me left clicking, okay? I'm, okay, this is my mouse, all right? I, I want to prove to you. This is right clicking, this is left clicking. You can name locations with a banner. <gasps> what? You've gotta be kidding me, man. Dude, this is game changing. This is insane. I have to, I'm sorry, I have to do it. I, 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 I have to do it. We have to try it. It works, look at it. Oh, but you should subscribe, seriously. You can break bedrock in Minecraft with a piston and TNT. A piston on the bedrock block that you wanna break. TNT on top of it, TNT on this side with a lever, trap door, very, very important. Now here's the trick. You have to ignite the TNT and spam click right here on the obsidian block to place another piston. And if you did it correctly, you break the bedrock. When throwing a trident, it will always come back to you. It's loyal. It's like a dog, okay? It's the dog of Minecraft weapons. It's, it's your best friend. Lesson learned, don't get a dog, get a trident. You can mine a dragon egg at the bottom of the ocean. Why would this work? Although I think this is busted. No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh my God, everything I know is a lie. This is going to be the last myth I try to clutch with, but people are telling me you can do it with sweet berries. I don't care how sweet these berries are. You cannot clutch with them. It just doesn't make sense. I'm done. Digging straight down is dangerous. I don't see how this is dangerous. That was a little dangerous, but still we're fine. I mean, what are the chances of us actually falling into lava? I would say very minuscule. Okay, foxes can use a totem of undying to survive. Because foxes are the only animal in Minecraft that like pick things up in their mouth, uh, they're supposed to be able to survive. I don't think it's gonna work. Well done, come! Pauldrons save you from fall damage. Oh, oh, oh! What? You can mine lapis lazul with a stone pickaxe. I actually have no idea if this- Bruh. <laughs> Confirmed! <laughs> Diamonds and turtle eggs have the exact same textures, just different colors. They're literally the same texture. Oh my god, I've been playing Minecraft for 10 years and my whole life is a lie. That myth was excellent. You can't eat food underwater. I'm gonna say this one is a bust. That's a bust. Using a Minecraft border, you can stack slabs on top of each other. If this actually works, my mind is going to be blown. So this slab is one block outside of the world border and it should work. No way. Oh my, seeing two different slabs stacked on top of each other is insane. Using your Minecraft username for seed generation gives you an OP spawn. As you can see, there's no cheats. None of that stuff. Making the world. Uh, okay. <laughs> This is definitely not overpowered. <laughs> but that goes into our next myth. If you dig straight down from where you spawn, you will find diamonds. I've actually heard about this myth, but never tested it. It's gonna take a long time because I don't have any tools. Or do I? I say there's a 0% chance of this working. Oh, we found coal, not diamonds though. That's busted. We dug straight down to bedrock. If you put 23 cows in a hole, they give you enough kinetic energy to fly with elytra. To test this, we have to dig a two block hole, spawn 23 cows inside of it. Four, five, six. And then we jump inside. Let's see ya, baby. What? No. I'm, I'm done. Those cows just launched me hundreds of blocks away. That is a confirmation. You've got to subscribe for that one. Can llamas spit 10 blocks? We're about to see. Oh! Can they spit 11? Llama's got range, what about? Okay, we're gonna go for 12. Oh my, okay, 13? Surely llamas can't spit 13 block. What? Okay, what about 15 blocks? I'm done. When standing still, skeletons never miss. After 
about 10 shots, he shot an arrow that went right over my head. Can you cure a zombie villager with a golden apple? No, no, I, he's my test subject. Please, sir, what have you done? What, have, okay, now, okay. Here you go, take, take this. That's a big fat myth, all he wants is my flesh. <laughs> you only need 15 bookshelves to get maximum enchants. Have I been doing it wrong my entire life? We're about to find out. That's confirmed. Does your Minecraft character ever blink? Whoa, oh, that was creepy. Witches are immune to lava and fire. So she's able to somehow swim in the lava. She's like half immune, half not immune. So she's not immune, but she does give herself fire resistance. She bites back. Dying in the end with a totem takes you to a custom dimension. Negative. Endermen can't see you through glass. None of these Endermen. I can't believe this works. Are they? I think they're glass blind. I don't know. Do they got glaucoma? They got legma. Cats in Minecraft don't take fall damage. Sorry. What? I did not think this was going to work. Are you kidding me? What is that? Why? Well, maybe it works for me. Yeah. It... Apparently, you can survive fall damage with a watermelon because it has water in it. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> if you're extremely lucky, eating a golden apple will give you three effects. That's only two. Two. I really want this myth to work. I'm eating every single golden apple. Now, you know what? After eating 32 golden apples, this myth is busted. Evokers will turn a blue sheep into a red one. What? Why? That is so weird. Look at this. What? It only turned one of them into a red sheep. What is the point of that? The point is, it's confirmed. You can cross a one block gap with the roof without jumping. Okay, we're just supposed to sprint through it. <gasps> it works, but not all the time. That's so weird. Point is, don't rely on this to get you safely across. You can sprint in a Minecraft boat. That is confirmed. And it looks like we're going way faster. Sugar cane grows faster on dirt than it does on sand. And now we wait. Ah, busted! It grows faster on sand. You can survive four anvils drop on your head. I am definitely going to get brain damage. Oh, oh my gosh, you, I, you can, but you can't, you can't get out afterwards. This one is weird, but you all wanted to see it. You never spawn on stone when making a new world. Big cap on this one. Oh, right, let's, try, let's try again, shall we? Negative. Uh, grass again, wow. I want you to try this one for yourselves. We haven't spawned on stone once, unless, nope. Throwing diamond gear into lava turns it into netherite gear. <laughs> You would have to be an absolute idiot to fall for this one. This one is interesting. If you kill a piglin in one shot, it will not aggravate the other piglins around. What? Oh my gosh, we have been doing the nether the wrong way the entire time, ladies and gentlemen. You can light netherrack underwater. That, no. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I was like, there's no chance. That's a bust, dude. Withers will not spawn in snow biomes. I think it's gonna work. <gasps> What? It didn't spawn. But if you break the snow around the soul sand, will it spawn? It will. Oh god. Okay, I'm, I'm running to the next myth. <laughs> Using an anvil, you can combine two different types of armor. Oh god, I, I'm gonna call cap on this one before we... Yeah, there, yeah, again. What did I tell you? Doesn't work. Busted. White tulips don't give you white dye. That one will be interesting. It gi What? Really, it, it gives you light gray dye, not white. Using the Minecraft border, you can put two stairs inside of each other. Oh my gosh. Wearing a helmet protects you from anvil damage. Oh, great. More, more brain damage. Like I need any more of that. Okay. And that was with a helmet. Supposedly, creepers deal zero damage when you're holding a shield out. Oh gosh. <laughs> Wait, it's true. What? And here you are thinking creepers are the biggest, baddest mob in Minecraft. As long as you have your shield out, creepers literally do no damage. That's crazy! If you splash an invisibility potion on a shulker box, it shows what he actually looks like. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh, that's so weird! We took his shell away! Dolphins will play with your items. Let's see. Come on, dolphin! Oh! What? That is so cool. Look at me spitting the diamonds back up. You can get way more music discs from creepers if you trick a skeleton into shooting a TNT block. Okay, now we just trick the skeleton into shooting the TNT. All right, man's your skeleton. Oh, let's see. 
Oh my, wait, there is so many music discs. What? Oh my god. You can literally get every music disc in Minecraft like this. Confirmed. You can always find diamonds if you go to the center of a clay deposit and go seven blocks out. Now, the seventh one, you dig straight down. If I find diamonds, I'm going to scream like a little girl. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, there was. I dug a little bit further and there actually is a vein of diamonds. I think that's confirmed. You can jump two blocks with fire damage. Come on. How do we do this? <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's got me fired up. I will extinguish this myth. If you throw a trident with loyalty and a full inventory, it will chase you forever. So my inventory is completely full right now. I want to see where's the trident at. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh my gosh. It's literally forking me. Oh, please leave a like on this video so this stops happening. Using in rods, you can create a one-way wall to protect you from mobs. So we got all these zombies out here, right? But you can go inside of the in rods, but not even the baby zombies can for whatever reason. This is oh, but they can push each other through. Oh, that's bad. Can they get out? What's they're in there. Look at them. They're stuck. Oh, and you can push them back out. Look at this. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. And look, he can't make his way back in. That is incredible. You can't blow up nether stars. We're going to put a nether star on one side, and then we're going to put the diamond on the other side. And we're going to see which one survives. There's just no chance of this working, right? Ah! Oh, man. I was going to say this was the star of the myth, but that's too good. <laughs> this creeper's angry. Surely the creeper can blow up the nether star. Ah! No. Okay, I'm going to put the nether star in a frame. Surely that's going to blow up. That can't last. <gasps> we found a way to break it. That was star pack. You can sleep under lava in a bed and you don't take damage. <gasps> Excuse me? How am I just now finding out about this? This is not fake lava. That is real lava. As you can see, I'm burning. Iron golems can't take fall damage. Or can they? All right, iron golem. Let's see what you got going on here. Come on. <laughs> And there he goes. Really? Do they not take fall damage because their bodies are so hard made of iron or are they just built different? I mean, will I take fall damage if I fall? Surely I will. Yep. Yep, of course. If red mushrooms are hit with lightning, they turn into brown mushrooms. No shots. Yeah, I knew that was bogus. That's stupid. Okay, well, what about if you have a supercharged creeper? Creeper is now supercharged. He's gonna explode. Will he blow up the nether star? No, it still doesn't blow up. I don't understand. You can make a hidden ladder with item frames. And we even have a live audience for this myth. In order to do this, you need a map. You need vines, you need an item frame. Item frames, put the maps over them. Vines, you, you look at this. Pew, 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 pew. And watch this. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm so very secret. Using a sword in your offhand with looting still works. So typically with looting, you would use it like this, right? But I'm gonna have it in my offhand and see if the looting still works. Ah! I don't think that worked. I only got one pork chop. Cause look, if I use my ah! netherite sword, I got three pork chops. <clears throat> so with looting, ah! three feathers. Okay, looting in the offhand. <laughs> Ah, I, I think it's Every cat that you spawn in a witch's hut will always be black. I'm gonna summon a cat. That will, I don't know if they're necessarily black. They're kind of, they're kind of purple. Yeah, they're, oh my, yo. So if I stand out here, will they be a different color? <laughs> oh, that is weird. You can die signs. This sign is daring me to die it. If you could die signs, I would have done this so much longer ago. <laughs> oh, no. no, dude. No, 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 no. I would have known about this. How am I just now figuring this out? Placing a wet sponge in the nether dries it out. So you don't get the water back. If you use a lava bucket and a furnace with a wet sponge, you actually get the water back into the bucket. Wait, and then also, does this work in the nether? I've never tried this. <laughs> if you stare at an enderman dead in the eyes, he won't attack you. I do not believe this. I am looking right into his soul. I think it's working. So your crosshair has to be like perfectly in the middle of his eyes. That's how you gotta do it, man. You gotta assert your primal dominance and just stare at him in the eyes and then he won't attack you. But if you look away, look at this. Oh, no, no, no. That is so weird. You know, I think Endermen are just misunderstood. Or not. <laughs> In portals can break bedrock. Ah, dude, if this works, I'm gonna be quite surprised. I mean, it would kind of make sense. Three, two, one. Oh, the portal's backwards. <gasps> oh, that's actually not the only way to break bedrock, but that was sick. It's not, it's dude. Okay, I don't know why I can't do this. This is going a lot farther though, I feel like. If you go back to our one of our Minecraft Miss video, we did a five block jump, which is 17 pixel perfect jumps in a row. 17 pixel perfect jumps in a row. Look, five block jump. Can't make a two block jump with fire. I'm gonna try again. <gasps> oh, I did. I twice. You take no fall damage if you disconnect and reconnect in midair. I'm gonna try this, and we're logging back in. I think we're still gonna die, to be honest, but we'll see. Ah! Why doesn't? Everybody do this. Dude, if you have a hardcore Minecraft world and this happens to you, this could be game changing. If you search excited ZE, 
In the crafting table, it's supposed to change your language to pirate. Uh, Ayo? Reve <laughs> Revealing smashable treasures. Look at this. Crafted loot bag. Farming stick of rock. Can blazes start a campfire? All right, come on, blaze. Come on, blaze it up, baby. Yeah, right here. Oh, yes! Oh, that's so cute. I mean, not that you would ever really want to do this, but it does work. This blaze has terrible aim. Making an ender portal through the end portal creates a new dimension. I, this one's like hard to explain, but I think you guys understand where I'm coming from. I mean, this could work, right? It's it, There's a low chance that this works, but if it works, it's going to be amazing. All right, put the eyes in. Oh, dude, what kind of witchcraft is this? This is supposed to make a new dimension. <laughs> you can trap the wither in the end by spawning him sideways. So this is weird. Is he actually going to spawn? Oh, he did spawn. Look at his tail oh my gosh look at this he's trapped inside of the portal look at this he's taking damage from being stuck inside of the bedrock oh my gosh this is crazy now the question is do i take damage from him we do not take damage this is the best way to defeat a wither using only fences you can make a one-way animal farm so instead of connecting the fences you just do this it's like you can just walk in and out right and look if you spawn cows and we try to lure them out with the weeds it works like they, they can't escape but you can get in Ooh, but does it work with pigs pigs are a little bit smaller it does in fact work with pigs all right, but chickens, though. Chickens are smaller than both of these. And... Wait, is it working? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I think the chicken... Wait, I think the chicken got pushed out by the cow. Yeah, so it actually worked. So the chickens can kind of escape if they get pushed out by the other mobs, but this works. You can sprint while crouching. If you're sneaking, this is as fast as you can go. But it might work if you use trap doors. So... Oh, my God. What? Oh, that is so weird. How are we this fast? Oh, that is insanity. Why does that work? Also, we're about to hit 20 million subscribers on my original Preston channel. Look at the shirt that we're going to be releasing at 20 mil. Okay, look at that. How sick is that? It's going to be available at firemerch.com once we hit 20 million, which will be very soon. It might already be at 20 million by the time you're seeing this video. It's limited edition, so you can get it at firemerch.com if you want it. You can use drip leaves to make a secret entrance in Minecraft. When you step on drip leaves, they fall down. So it's kind of like a trap door. And if you wait, it should make you go, yes, just like this. And then you can enter your secret base. And then you can also have a secret painting in your secret base with a smiley face and diamonds. <laughs> you can use powdered snow to tower infinitely. Oh, this is amazing. At first I was like, how do you do this? But you can just keep taking as long as you have two buckets at the beginning. How has Dream not used this for his manhunts yet? This is, this is manhunt material, ladies and gentlemen. Giving a creeper a full stack of TNT makes it friendly. Right now he is uh, not very friendly. So take this stack, take the stack of TNT, my guy, come on. Okay, or we can just explode in anger. That's great too. No, 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 wait, hold on. Relax, dude, relax. No, 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 no. Yes, stay right there, stay right there. Take the TNT, think about it. Okay, all right. Okay, whoever came up with that one is pretty dumb. If you ever tried it with channeling, you can make infinite lightning. So we've got this contraption set up. This is the only way this could be possible. Type in weather. It's raining now. And, oh, <laughs> And it works. I mean, we had to die to make it work, but you can literally make infinite lightning and thunder. That's pretty, that's, that's cool.